everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to open another one of these um, Miniverse Make It Mini Food. This is the Christmas edition, the holiday series. This is the uh, number one. Uh, I found these a few months ago and I really really wanted to do them but I was thinking that um, it is the Christmas edition so I needed to wait for Christmas and I'm pretty sure they are coming out with a series 2 for the Christmas holiday but oh well you know the drill what I'm gonna do I am going to walk to my table and then we are going to open this and put it together and then make it in 1 to 12. So here we are with the Make It Mini Food. Um, this is the Christmas edition and I think that's the only three you can get for this holiday edition and this is definitely the um, gingerbread house so um, yeah it is a tattletale so I'm happy to do this one so let us uh, find the tear tap here I have seen people being able to open this without uh, it breaking. Let me see if I can do this. Oh yes, that is satisfaction when it works. Let's open that part up and there we have the gingerbread house uh, with all the steps all the way around this ribbon here. And we have the tear tap right here. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's go. Oh, that's so satisfying. That is the first time ever I managed to do that. Anyway, let's open up this ball here and pour out all the goodies. First of all, we have the table and this is a pearly white and a golden, uh, uh, what do you call that, um, leg for the table. So I think that's for this part only. And this one is of course made so that you can place a table in here. Let me see if I can do it. You might want to place the foot first. There we go. And then the table's up. There we go. And then you can use this one to showcase whatever you get in here. So we have the how-to guide and we have the one with the warnings and stuff like that. And here you can see all three things that we can make and all the how-tos on how to make it. Uh, let me put that to the side and see what we've got here. One two, three, four, five, six bags, and a doily. Let's open this one up and place that on there. Uh, let's open this one. I think this, um, I'm not sure what this is, a spatula or something. Let's see. Uh, it's a tubber. And, oh no, my little spatula is all bended, bended up here. That's not good. Let's see if I can straighten it out a bit. Okay, that's sad. There was the topper. It's a nice um, snowflake and you just pop that on the top like that. And then you can use that as a dome. Let me put this to the side. And of course the tweezers, and this time it's gold instead of white. And another plastic piece. Let me take these one at a time. First the blue one here. Thank you. Have a merry day. Happy Sun Farm. Let's open it up. A cake stand. Or a stand for the uh, gingerbread house. Here we have, let me pop that up there. Oop. Here we have Happy Holidays with marshmallows. It's, oh, and it's all ready opened. That's new. A nice little box 
Sun Baked Sweets Gingerbread House. I think this is the wall pieces. Who? They are so so cute. Different pieces from for the walls here. Roof and the walls. That's neat. I really like this. Let me put that together and pop it back into the box for now so that we know where they are when we are going to need them in a bit. Oh, and pop that onto the table as well. Then we have have, have a merry day. Oh, actually I think yeah, that was open as well. So what do we have here? Whipped cream. Um, mm -hmm. There is something in it, so I should be able to open it. Oh, there we go. I have these small, cute white whip, whipped cream tops here. They are so, so cute. And you could actually make a mold of these and use them for cakes in 1 to 12 if you want to. Let me just put that back in there and place that on the table. Here we have Have a Merry Day. And a box in that one. Gumdrops. Ooh, we like gumdrops. Let's see if we can open this one. Whoa. And there is a bag in here. Ah, oh, come on out. With the cutest, tiniest gumdrop here. All glittery. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop that in there for now. Place that on my table. And then the last one, this should be our resin. It says, chill out, chill out, chill out. And we have, it looks like a yellowish uh, glaze here. I hope it's white and not yellow and a little tip for it. So here are all the things that we got for now. Let me just clean up, uh, let me just clean up the area here and then I will come back and make this little craft. So I cleaned my space a tiny bit so you can see everything that I got in the uh, blind bowl here. First of all, we are going to take out um, the cake part for the gingerbread house. And I'm just making sure I got everything. This box is really, really cute. Then we have this really, really beautiful stand for the house. Uh, so I don't want the doily on there. So first of all, we are going to connect the house pieces here. That is fairly easy. I don't think you can do much wrong here. Uh, beside of turning the sides of the house upside down. So just uh, be aware of that. Then I am just clicking the house together, taking the pieces for the roof and placing them on top. And it has kind of a lip to hold on to, so it's actually standing pretty firm and really nice together. And then I'm just gonna place it right here. So I'm taking my how-to guide to see what they want me to do. So we need these small pieces of whipped cream to the uh, top of the roof. And there is actually a lot of them in here. Let's unbox the gumdrops. Uh, there are three colors of the gumdrops in this little bag. Um, and I am ending up with only using red and greens and saving the pink for something else someday. Uh, this little bag is actually really good close, so I am going to use my scissors to cut it open. These gumdrops are squishy, really, really squishy. Um, and it's actually kind of fun. It's really, really a squishy material. I like that. 
Sadly, the glitter on them are all over after playing around with them. So now you are warned if you don't like glitter, these gumdrops are kind of annoying. I am going to use the bottom of the blind ball here to place all the gumdrops. This way I know where they are and I'm not getting glitter all over my table. Let's move the uh, whipped cream here to the side so we can work on the little house. And now for the resin, let's open it up and pop the little uh, spout or what you call that on top. Uh, there's no metal lid in this one. Um, and that's both good and bad. Good because it's easier to get into the resin. Bad because you risk having resin all over these blind boxes when you open them. Anyway, let's start with the top here and we are going to place uh, the whipped cream on top. It was a bit tricky to get the resin flowing, but um, I got it. Using my little spatula, making sure I have the resin all over where I want it. And then I am using my own tweezers, taking some of the wet cream dollops here and placing them on top of the house. I'm trying to recreate the picture that we have here of how they want us to make it. So I'm just taking my time with this and placing them on top there. There we go. I make sure that all my whipped cream is sitting like I want it to and then I am using my UV light to make sure it is hardening in place right there. So that was the first part, the uh, whipped cream on the top of the house and now I want to do something because the lid is actually coming off. Uh, so I am going to grab my glue my tacky glue and I'm just placing a tiny bit of tacky glue to make sure it is going to stick where I want it to. Uh, this is actually not necessary because I am using my resin to make sure it is sticking um, after this so you really don't need to glue the uh, roof on here but um, I wasn't sure of what I would do with the resin so I am just using my glue. And again, looking at the drawing, you need a little resin here along the top of the roof. So where the roof and the bread house are connected, you want to have some kind of resin here looking like a tiny bit of snow. And then you can make kind of um, small things dripping down the side of the house so it looks like it's kind of uh, icicles that is hanging down if you want to so i was just trying to do what the little up uh, um what you call that the little drawing here showed so that uh, it looks just like that And then again, I am taking my light to make sure everything stays in place and is hardened. Turn around the house and do the exact same thing on this side. Let's jump that. So this end of the house is also done and all dry. Now we need the gumdrops to place on top of the roof and I'm just uh, popping a tiny dot of resin here along the side of the roof and then I am gonna do it one more time because they have two rows of these gumdrops so I'm just placing a tiny drop where I want a gumdrop and now for the gumdrop I am going to use a green one for the top row here you can alternate so you could make a uh, green red pink green red pink if you want to or well whatever you like but again i am trying to keep to the template and then i'm sticking the green on here and then the red on the next row
and I'm just taking my time with this so they are going to stay where I place them and again I am going to take my UV light and make sure everything is kept in place uh, before I continue and then I did the exact same thing on the other side of the roof I'm not gonna show you everything but I placed them just like on the first side and again I'm placing this under my UV light to harden now I am going to use some UV glue to stick the little house onto the plate so I'm just using it as a glue here uh, actually you need to know that if there is a place where the light can't hit then it won't harden when it is under the light uh, so doing it like this can be a bit tricky again you want it to harden underneath as well so I am popping a line of this resin all the way around the house onto the little um, cake stand here so that I know that it will stay in place with I'm when I'm all done and I'm using the spatula here to make sure it is where I want it and onto the house and then I am going to place some of these um, whipped cream tops here in the resin and some of the gumballs uh, just placing them around the house where I want them kind of decorating the outside as well uh, again you don't have to do this you can also just leave the house so you can take it off the cake stand here so you can use the cake stands for everything else in your uh, one to six scales dollhouse that is the scale for Barbie dolls so this is really fitting for the Barbie dolls um, and I'm just doing this and then I am popping it under the light and then that is it for this little craft we are going to use my 3d printed cookie cutters and I am using a clay that is made from this chart here and um, I'm going to roll the clay out on a setting 6, six on my um, pasta machine so that is fairly thin um, and I am going to place the clay here on my glass work surface using a piece of cling wrap that I am placing over uh, the clay and you are going to push uh, these cookie cutters into the clay on top of uh, the cling wrap and you need one front of the house one back of the house two sides and two roof pieces if you don't have a 3d printer and can't print these uh, cookie shapes here then you can go to the first ever video that I made of a gingerbread house there I have a uh, paper template that you can print and use I will link for that video in the info box below I am going to make for two houses here just because I can then I remove the cling wrap you can actually use this again if you want to and I'm carefully going to take off the rest clay here and um, I'm going to take my time with this so I'm going to chomp a lot of this but take your time so that you don't rip any of your pieces and remove all the excess clay here so you can uh, cut out the little door here or you can leave it in uh, that's the reason why I made two houses here because I want to cut one of the houses doors out and I'm gonna leave the other one in so you can see the difference and what you like to do now it is time for a tiny bit of texture on these pieces of cake so I am using a tin foil that I rolled into a ball and I'm rolling that all over all my pieces and I'm just taking my time with this when I am happy with that I'm using a toothbrush uh, this is just the head of a toothbrush that's a hard word anyway I'm using the head of a toothbrush 
to give it the smaller detailed look in the uh, dough color here um, and I'm just making sure I like the result of it. Now it is time for some shading and I am using my soft pastel um, chalks here for that. So first I'm using a light brown to dust over uh, the raw cookie dough if you want to. So it is kind of loosening the plastic look and I like that. Don't do too much but do it on all the pieces that you have. Then I am going in with this red brown uh, color here, the lighter red brown, and I'm again dusting the pieces, um, but this time more on the edges than on the inside. And again, I'm doing this on all the pieces that we have um, lying on the little glass surface. Then I am going in with a tiny, tiny bit of this dark red brown color here. And that is only on the edges. And with the really, really dark brown here, you can go in and make uh, it look like the cake have been getting a bit too much heat here and there. You don't really have uh, the need for much of this. So be careful. You don't want a lot of that color. Now let's make the gumdrop. I am using a tiny, tiny bit of red uh, colored clay and then I'm using at least four times as much maybe five times as much of the translucent clay and I'm going to mix that together uh, into a uniform color and I rolled that color into a tiny thin snake and I am cutting tiny pieces of the snake and rolling them into small balls uh, I want these to be all round because the shape that the originals have is a bit difficult to kind of make in this size if you want to make more of them. And then I'm just gonna uh, cut everything from this red line into small pieces and making them into small balls. And I am doing the same here with green. So I took a tiny bit of green colored clay, mixed that with kind of a lot of the translucent clay, rolled that into a thin snake. And now I am making that into small balls for the gumdrops. And for the whipped cream top, I started with a tiny, tiny bowl of white clay and I'm using a uh, needle tool to shape it into the um, same shape as the one that we have for the house itself and I'm really taking my time going around this little uh, piece of clay and shaping it with this um, movement in and up I'm getting the small indents here and uh, I'm just going around it until I'm happy with it I picked the gumdrop on a piece of ceramic vat so they don't get that flat surface. The house itself I baked on the glass plate because that works perfect. Now I am making some mold putty or using some mold putty to make a mold of my little whipped cream top. Now it is time to glue the house together and I'm using a combination of tacky glue and second glue or super glue. Um, and that works a lot better for me than just uh, with the um, tacky glue. And yes, this will go into the oven, so I'm trying not to use too much glue. Um, but I really haven't had any problems with the glue in the oven. Um, the little whipped cream mold that we made was made with silicon putty. Um, in Denmark you can get that online, I don't know where you can get it, but Amazing Mold Putty will work as well, or whatever kind of mold putty you have. Um, and as that dried for like half an hour, I could make a lot more of these whipped cream uh, tops, and I did so, um, but I just didn't record that.
So that was the bottom of the house. Now for the roof, I used my tacky glue all the way around and then a tiny bit of my super glue to make sure everything is connected until the tacky glue is dry. And I'm placing the roof. Uh, and yes, I did place the one side first, but uh, I think you understand what I'm going to do here. Anyway, I leave that to dry completely before I continue. So that was the house where the front door is still in place. Here you see the house without the front door and I'm just using a tiny bit of my super glue to glue the door in place where I want it. Um, and again, I'm out of frame. I'm really sorry about this. Sometimes when I'm working, I'm just totally forgetting everything about the camera. I'm trying to focus it here. So I'm just placing the door here like open and that's it. So now to the decorating of my house. I have this white icing. This is um, female liquid and white clay mixed together into this um, messy uh, icing looking thing. And I'm starting on the top of the roof just like we did uh, with the other roof or, or the house. And I'm using a nice amount of this icing here on top and making sure it is really connected to the house. Then I am going in with some here uh, around the um, connection between the roof and the front of the house. And I'm going to make it look like it's kind of dripping down like this. I'm gonna do this in the other end as well. I'm not gonna show you. But I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other end of the house as well. So just take your time with this so it looks just like you want it to. And remember to do the other end of the house as well. Then I am taking some of these uh, whipped cream dollops and placing here on top of the house into this uh, clay mixture. Just like that. And I'm taking a tiny bit more of the clay mixture, my icing, and placing a line here on the roof. And I'm gonna make two lines and I'm gonna do it on both sides of the roof. Then I dumped some of the green um, gumballs into some female liquid and I'm using my tweezers to take them out and place them into some glitter. This is some white glitter and then I am placing it on one of the lines here. Again we had the green on top first and then the red uh, underneath. So I'm doing the same here. First the green gumballs and then I place the red gumballs into the female liquid and I'm twisting them around so I'm sure they have female liquid all over dipping them into my glitter and placing them on the second line on the rooftop here. And I'm gonna do this on both sides and on both houses. And when they have cooled down, I am taking my white jelly roll 08 and I'm going to use that one to make the decorations here on the sides like windows and um, around the door and small details and decorations and stuff like that. Uh, and you can just go crazy with this jelly roll. Uh, it can be a bit tricky here and there to draw with it, but I didn't have that many problems. Um, I'm just 
putting stuff down that I think will look great. This actually looks like a dog um, mouth and nose, but um, oh well. But you can do this just like you want to. I'm going to paint the heart in here like that. I think that's better. On the door, I'm just going to frame the door on the inside and make a little handle just like that. And then maybe some uh, wines that is going up the side of the house here. Again, it's just your imagination. So have fun and enjoy this part. But that's it for the video today. I had a lot of fun with this one. I know I have made the gingerbread houses a few times, but oh well, here we are again. Uh, this one is a bit different. So if you want, I have a link in the info box below for the other gingerbread houses that I made. So you can find them and just have a blast with this. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.